there at DigiDs, and I am very sick today. The Alan Wake series will be on hold for a little bit until I am better. Here is a scrapped Vampire Survivors video that you all wanted to see and I forgot about. There is very light editing and is what happens behind the scenes. Wish me to get well soon because I feel like I'm dying right now. Cheers and subscribe. Thank you. What a beautiful day for secret hunting and Vampire Survivors, where today's secret is with the most adverse fate in Green Acres run off the edge of the world. Now I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I guess it means that we need to run off the edge of the world. So I guess we're just gonna have to really hightail it to the edge of the map and see exactly what happens. Now I tried to not look up how any of these secrets or anything it is that how to really what any of these secrets really ever mean. Now the one thing I did have to look up was how to actually achieve it. So to start off with, this does not matter. Choosing a character does not matter how you achieve it. But Porta Ladona, I kind of want this permanent plus 30% area. Starts with temporary cooldown bonus because it's really good. I like the lightning ring. I like the 30% area damage. That's really good. Be good like Santa water, lightning ring, kind of other stuff like that. It's great. Now the only thing I did have to look up is how to achieve it in terms of like modes. So we do need to have the hyper mode active, but with hyper mode active, that's right. We have gold bonus plus 15%. Cool. Luck bonus plus 10%. All right. XP bonus, I think is primarily because of hurry mode. That's fine. But enemy health plus 100%. That's right. There is a plus 100% enemy health modifier to all this simply because we are in hyper mode. So that is quite the, that is quite the achievement. We're gonna have to move as fast as possible. Looking at green acres. Eight changes by the minute in a realm where mortals can only trespass. What rewards await those who challenge his rules? Treasure? Glory? Poultry even? Ah, uh, yes. How about we just go ahead and jump right into it and get started. And, well, start. I kind of want, I don't know exactly what I want, but I think healing is double recovering HP damage is nearby enemies for the same amount. Seems pretty good. If I get like a chicken does some extra damage, you know, whatever. If I get that like the whip, could be pretty good. Let's go ahead and get that. And so immediately, taking a look at the map. We have some red things to the left and right. We also have a ring in the very top and bottom. Now, however, we are, you know, that seems very interesting. I would like to go take a look at those, but we are on the secret today. The secret really is to, well, the secret is to get off the edge of the map and find out what happens when we get off the edge of the map. I have no idea. I, I am going to be completely confused. I appear to have, excuse me, what is happening around me? Is that my attack or is that just something that happens? Okay, well, we do seem to have a lightning ring that's going on, which is very powerful. Killing these enemies pretty quick, not gonna lie. But we also have, seem to have like some weird garlic ability that seems to be like kind of popping off of my character at the moment. A little surprising. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get down as much of this XP as possible. I think we're having a pretty, pretty easy start to, well, to start off with. Um, Honestly, let's go, let's do the whip. The attacks horizontally passes through enemies because if we do manage to, you know, if we do manage to evolve that, then that's honestly gonna be beautiful simply because of the fact that we do heal with, if we evolve the whip, we do heal on all the damage done by the whip. And also with that ability where we damage nearby enemies about the amount healed, that's gonna be double the amount of damage. I gotta say on hyper mode and hurry mode, the whip is really fast. I'm going to go ahead and get Rune Tracer because it passes through enemies, bounces around, is really powerful. Especially, I can already tell there are gonna be a lot of enemies on this map. Let's go ahead and, uh, armor. Great, that involves my Rune Tracer. And we can also take less damage simply because we have armor on. That's very good. Let's start focusing on some of these guys. I'm gonna say, let's take Clock Lance. A cool chance to freeze enemies in time. That's gonna be really good, especially if we are moving fast and I'm going to wanna kind of focus down in like a single kind of direction. Start taking on some of these guys and if we can kind of like go towards the direction of where enemies are frozen, that can be really beneficial just kind of moving around. I kind of want, ooh, fires out a random enemy, deals heavy damage for fire one, fires one projectile. I guess we could go for the fire one. I would kind of want magic one. I would kind of want magic one across. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's take lightning ring for one more projectile. We already start off with it. Let's go ahead and just upgrade it. We got a plus 30% of area damage in general. So the lightning ring does help to hurt nearby enemies. If we can kind of focus down one of our primary weapons to start off with, either it be like the whip or a magic wand. There it is. There we go. Okay, very nice. So now the magic wand does fire at the nearest enemy that is available to me, which is good because if I'm gonna be running so fast, I wanna be hitting the ones that are directly kind of in front of me and gonna be in a problem. Gonna get the lightning ring again, base area by that, base damage up by more. Is very good. Lightning ring is probably gonna be our main most beneficial one. Although I don't remember exactly what it does that evolves the lightning ring. What does evolve the lightning ring? If we take a look here, the duplicator, the duplicator upgrades the lightning ring. Very nice. So if we can go ahead and get the chance for a duplicator, that's gonna be amazing. It's not only is it it's only going to 
It's going to duplicate our magic wand. It's going to duplicate our rune tracer. It's going to duplicate our... There is the duplicator. It's going to duplicate our whip and the lightning ring. It's going to duplicate everything except the clock lancet. Clock lancet is going to be the only one that does not get duplicated in this instance. So that is amazing. So now if we also get the cross, the duplicator is even going to duplicate the cross. That's going to be even better. Can I focus down this eyeball? Is this eyeball like a boss? Is it like just a regular enemy? It doesn't appear to be dying anytime soon, so I'm hoping it's kind of a boss because I will drop a treasure chest well and treasure chest gives us a free upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and let's say lightning ring. If we can get lightning ring up to level eight and evolve it super, super early, my God, that is going to be so beneficial. We do get the armor upgrade. Nice, a little bit less damage taken and reduces incoming damage by one. Get the, uh, oh, I want the spinach so bad. I want that spinach base area day or base damage up by 10%. That's going to be super good, but you know what? I mean, candle area of attack by 10%. You know, that's not too bad. We do have a couple. I mean, the lightning ring counts as an area of effect. And I think it also makes some of our weapons a little bit larger too. So like the magic wand will make a little bit larger, make like the rune trace that bounces around a little bit larger. I don't want the crown. I will take the rune trace for more base damage and base area in general. You know, which it also just did say base area. So yes, it does make it a little bit larger. We got giant bone dragon. We got bone daddies kind of flying on through. I'm kind of focusing on getting a little bit more experience right now. I don't want the Gaudi Amari. I'm going to focus on the magic wand, more projectiles, which would be really good. Again, because we have a lot of, we have the duplicator. We have a little extra projectiles in general. We could have kind of taken out the enemies that are closest to me. Hello, there are skeletal boils that just kind of all revived directly in front of me out of absolutely nowhere. Uh, let's get the lightning ring again. Level six, level six. Can we get the lightning ring to level eight on early game? Uh, that is the question. If we can get a lightning ring to level eight early game, I think we will actually have a winning run here and being able to find the secret. Now, I don't want to actually take too long kind of standing around trying to do all this stuff. Um, Don't quite get it. I'm going to do, uh, I, I guess maybe I... Let's start focusing a little bit on the whip because if we do manage to get the whip up to level eight and then evolve it, you know, of course we are going to manage to get our healing with every single hit of the whip, which is great. And plus that treasure chest just upgraded our rune tracer anyway for us. And let's go ahead and don't need the tractor. Go ahead and do more on the whip base area damage in general. They're moving along a little bit here. We haven't really necessarily made a whole lot of ground here. So let's start. Let's let's travel until seven minutes. So let's travel for 15 more seconds. You can see there at the very top. Now let's let's go to let's go to 730. Let's travel until 7.30. Get some good distance that's going, or at least until like a, maybe a big group of enemies. And you know what? I lied to you. Here is a mini boss here. We have a little bit of a blue bat. And my God, my little growth ability that knocks back enemies is really punching those bats away. Oh my God. It's really just punching those bats away. Get a lot of experience. Come on, come on. Get that bat. Get that bat. Kill that bat. Lightning ring up to level seven. Beautiful. I, I did want to kind of upgrade the duplicator, but you know what? We got to get the lightning ring. We got to get the lightning ring to level eight. As soon as we can do that, if I can get up to level eight and then grab a treasure chest, it will evolve for us. I'm uh, not seeing it. The knife don't really want it. Let's get the whip in general. More damage. We want to get that to level eight soon, too. We do got another boss here standing above us as that little skull dude. Uh, I, guess, I guess he's not so little. Uh, lightning ring is level eight. Kill the kill the bat. Kill the bat. Kill the bat. Please, bat die. Drop a treasure chest for me, please. Come on, magic wand. Do your job. Do your job, magic wand. Come on. Come on. Kick him out. Take him out. Don't you dare just drop a red gem. I need a treasure chest. Yes. Yes. That will evolve. I wait, but I have the duplicator. Why did it not evolve the dupe? Why did it? It's level eight, right? Open Grimoire. Um, let's see your lightning ring lightning ring and duplicator means evolved lightning ring Okay, well I, that treasure just should have upgraded the lightning ring I don't know why I didn't but uh, I'm gonna keep on moving now take some of this experience that we kind of got gathered up Oh, there's a giant group in a werewolves nice nice. That's some good experience right there We have taken a little bit of damage not too concerned this skull guy should be kind of low health, right? He's been taking he's been around for a little bit. He should be taking some good damage We also have another werewolf standing next to us as well. I need one of these treasure chests to go ahead and upgrade the lightning ring if we can evolve the lightning ring, we are going to be so good and also as soon as i upgrade the lightning ring i can also stop talking about trying to upgrade the lightning ring <laughs> you know what do i need to evolve the whip the whip needs let's see here the whip needs uh oh it needs actually augmented health to try to upgrade the whip and there is the treasure just nice get it get it get it get it please evolve it really you're upgrading the whip why are you, can i not evolve weapons in this mode is that what's going on here is, is there something is there like a gimmick about this map the fact you can't evolve weapons because I could have swore that once you have something that can be evolved, that it'll always be evolved as soon as you have a treasure chest available to it. Not entirely certain, but I'm going to keep on moving in this direction, at least for a second. Uh, is that the same werewolf that seems to be kind of like following me around? Oh, I, I guess so, because he died pretty quick. Open that up. Oh, wait. Oh, come on. We got a quadruple. Yeah. 
Yes, yes, yes. Come on, go, 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 go. Yes, I can't even skip it if I wanted to. I want to see it. Yes, I needed it so badly. This is what's going to really just exponentially just push this forward. We got the lightning ring. Yes, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Evolve lightning projectile strike twice. Yes, oh my god. It also got it also got the armor, it got the whip, it got a whole bunch of things. And look at that lightning ring go. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. I don't even care if I'm peeking the microphone, which I'm a hundred percent definitely peeking the microphone. There are probably some things there in the editing I'm gonna have to do to make myself sound a little bit more you know audible because when I seem to peek in the microphone, it really lets it just kind of cut me out. I you know. For those of you who may be watching the video, if you, if you are other YouTubers, if you are other people, do you know anything about audio in general? Do you know why I might be kind of peeking out? Like, I understand why I'm peeking, but like, why is it that when I peek, that really I seem to just lose my voice, like in general? Like, it, it stops recording my voice, it just kind of cuts me off, you know? This is something to do with like the attack time, noise gauge, you know, something like that, the freeway bander, something of the sort. Who knows? I don't know. I tried looking it up before and I haven't found an answer for it. But my God, this lightning ring is the ultimate survivor. I am going to get the duplicator, more projectiles, more projectiles, and we have a lot of things that give me projectiles. The, du the duplicator is gonna be my primary source right now. And you know what? We still have an entire slot ready for another weapon. Uh, didn't I say I wanted the cross? I really want the cross, which the cross would be a great addition to all this, honestly. You know, my grunk ability also seems to push back projectiles, and we are getting a little surrounded here. We're gonna lose. It's there. There is a treasure chest back behind me. We need to move through a little bit. I need to start moving through. There are too many enemies stacking on top of me. Okay, I really thought this lightning ring would be kind of like my own savior. And also, I kind of really thought that treasure chest would be my savior. But this seems to be a lot, a lot of enemies for, you know, only 13 minutes. I know it's in hyper mode right now, but my god, there is a lot of enemies. Like, what am I supposed to do about this? Um, I'm going to get the axe, I suppose, because it evolves with the candle Labrador. But there is the cross there, but the axe is going to be able to get involved. The axe will get involved. You know, I, I really did want that cross because it fires at the nearest uh, you know, enemy. But you know what? It's You got to do what you got to do. So we haven't actually find ourselves a little bit of a pocket of peace here. I want to focus down this this bat that's standing above me, this little mini boss bat, if I can. But I don't appear to be getting a chance where I need to run through. Please give me a chicken. Yes, we got that chicken. Okay, you know what? Let's not forget. Let's not forget. My main objective here today is to get off the edge of the map and find the secret of this map in general. Can I kill that guy? Please, for the love of God, kill that bat. Kill that bat. Give me a chance. No, I can't. I can't. I, the longer I stand around, the more in danger I am. You know, as much as many upgrades as I've gotten, I'm a little surprised by the fact that I am actually not killing these guys a little bit quicker. I know that they have a plus 100% extra health on everything right now, but my God, come on, I should be doing more than this. There is that bat again. He's got to die soon, right? These Medusas don't appear to be too strong. I keep on knocking the back. Let's get all this experience. Um, uh, heart, yes, hollow heart, but I get more max health and that can evolve my whip. Can I manage to upgrade the whip in time? I if I can evolve the whip, now that. Oh, and the empty tone, which also evolves my magic wand. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, very good. Very, 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 very good. That is great. Am I even going to live long enough? My God, especially with all these projectiles and dragons flying around. Am I even going to live long enough to evolve those? Chances are, honestly, maybe not. Because we are just mostly on a secret hunt here. And if I can get to the secret, God, honestly, be damned if I even try to survive. I just want to find out what the secret is. How far away from everything? Oh, my God. There's like four treasure chests back behind me. Ah. Oh. Oh, it feels bad, man. Feels bad. I can't go back for those. We we're trying to find a secret here. Got a little bit extra health. Can I maybe stand still for a little bit? I feel like we haven't upgraded in a while. Because we haven't upgraded in a while, I need to stand still for at least a second. These werewolves are strong. Because I haven't stood still in a long to get enough experience points, I can't do enough damage. But because I can't do enough damage, I can't stand still long enough to try to take these guys out. Um, uh, 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 empty tome, I suppose. Empty tome. Let's 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 cool down or more let's cool down to try to get my weapons fired off. I need XP. Is there any way like a magnet can appear? There is a treasure chest back here behind us. He actually above us. We're taking a lot of damage. Oh my god, there is so much going on. Please give me a chicken. No, no chicken, but here is a treasure chest. Okay. What is it gonna upgrade? We do evolve the whip. Right? Evolve Whip can deal critical damage and absorb HP. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. We got a little extra healing. The healing. The healing. Oh, look at the healing. Yes. Yes. Now can I stand still for a second? Now can I stand still for a little bit longer? I'm going to do spinach. More base damage. We need damage. We need damage. Open up the treasure chest. Gives our axe. Nice. 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 Fires one more projectile. Beautiful. Now I can stand still for a little bit. 
I do heal, and I deal damage to those around me when I do heal. Okay, oh my god, these guys are so strong. I need XP. I need XP so badly. I what, Can I can I upgrade anything right now? Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll do magic wand. Again, because it hits the nearest enemy. Hitting the nearest enemy is kind of beneficial. It'll keep him maybe a little bit further away from me. We got another treasure chest. Upgrading the candelabra to more base area. Nice, nice, nice. I need more XP. Um, let's do spinach again. Uh, what do we need right now to upgrade? So we need rune tracer or the armor up to level eight. We need either the magic wand or magic tome up to level eight or the, okay. So we need, uh, I'm gonna try to upgrade the weapons if anything, simply because we need to evolve more of these weapons in general. If we wanna get to the edge of the map and survive, we need to upgrade a lot more. These mummies are strong. Oh my God, these mummies are really strong. Uh, the, uh, there is a lot going on. Let's try to get down below these dead mummies a little bit. Start circling around and get a lot of XP is going. The wood is higher and magic wand is higher. So I'm gonna go ahead and get magic wand up. Again, firing at near enemy, which is beautiful. I would kind of like the empty tome. Maybe I should focus on empty tome because it'll also affect all of my weapons because, you know, reduction on my overall cooldown. These enemies are so strong though. They're so strong though. What do I even do about this? They're so strong. How do I even focus these guys down? They're all golems. This map is randomized like this. Oh, they're the magnet. They're the magnet. Okay, hang on, hang on. We're circling back. We're circling back. That magnet is gonna be a lifesaver as I am almost dead here. Oh my God, please, please. Where is that? Where is the magnet? There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Nice, okay, uh, I'm gonna do empty tome, cooldown reduction. Okay, how much XP do I got laying around? I want, let's say, rune tracer. Okay, doing good, doing good. I want, uh, let's do magic wand. More XP, please, more XP. There is another magnet. I will do, let's say, rune tracer, I suppose, another magnet. Not like it's really necessarily gonna matter because we just absorbed literally all the XP on the map. Let's do spinach. Ooh, no, rune tracer, rune tracer. Rune tracer again, rune tracer again. Okay, now we want, uh, we want, we want empty, no, magic wand, magic wand. We want, uh, let's go ahead and say X. Let's do magic wand. Don't manage to get magic wand up to level eight, but I think we need to get something else to level eight, right? Can we get a treasure chest? Kill the golem, kill the golem. We do manage to kill the golem. Evolve something. Yes, we got the rune tracer evolved. It explodes when bouncing in retaliation. Nice, nice, nice. We are doing great. Nothing necessarily super nearby that we need to get. We're still moving towards the side of the map so we can get, we, we need to find the secret. We're trying to find a secret here. But now look at this build. Look at this build. We are finally managing to move along. This is what I've been looking for. That last evolved, that, that root church evolved and we have an Arcana, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know what any of this is. I don't need any of this stuff. Give me something random. Give me something new. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Is there anything nearby? There is a fire breath right behind me. Do I need that fire breath? Uh, you know, I'm already moving this direction. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Hey, let's go pick it up. It's standing right over here, right? Right above me, isn't it? There it is. There it is. Beautiful. Where is this bat? Yeah, there's the bat. Get in our treasure chest. And we get a triple. We get two spinaches and an axe. Oh my God, yes. Digi-Ds, I just want you to know the context of why I'm so excited. This is the fifth time I've recorded this episode and we are finally getting somewhere super, super far. We have an amazing build, lots of evolved forms. We have lots of weapons. We are moving along. We have healing. I, I restarted so many times, even in the last episode, I was like, oh, you guys may never even see this episode, but maybe I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna try one more time. And because I'm trying one more time, we actually getting through it. I was ready to give up. I was ready to give up on recording. I was ready to give up on life. I was ready to give up on everything. But we are moving along. There is a treasure chest right behind me. We're still at 24 minutes. Where, where is this treasure chest? There it is, there it is. What are you gonna give me? What are you gonna give me? We have kind of love order plus a 10% area effect. Okay, but let's not forget. I need to move in a singular direction at this point. We need to get off the edge of the map. I don't know what the edge of the map is. I, I don't know what it is. There is no way for me of knowing. I, 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 just, I have no idea, but we only have like less than like four minutes to go. We have like three minutes to go. Remember, we are in hurry mode, which means that the time is technically moving by two times speed. We have five minutes, which is actually two and a half minutes. So I'm gonna keep on moving in this singular direction. Uh, what is that? What just happened? What are you? No, 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 no. You are stopping. Stop actively stopping me. Stop stopping me. I need to move this way. I need to move to my right. I, 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 there is a giant crab. <laughs> I need to keep moving. Um, I want empty tone. Get, get reduction and everything. Why are you near me? Why are you near me? Stop. You're, you're stopping my progress. What is the edge of the map? How far away am I from the edge of the map? I don't know. 
we are running out of time. At the very least, this episode is going to be something that's going to be super, super crazy in terms of just general gameplay. But if I can't get to the edge of the map, then what is even the point, man? It's going to be a field of bads, man. I need to find out the secret. That is the whole point. That is the whole point. And if we don't find the secret, then what am I even doing here? What am I even doing in this episode? Do I need to kill the crab? Is that what's going on here? Is it, is it the Reaper? Like, I know the Reaper is the one that's kind of on the line making, making this stuff, but maybe I just need to kill one of the bosses? Is that what happened or was it just like a time limit thing? I don't know. Why did the crab get so big? I don't know what's happening. Why is everything so confusing in this game? <laughs> Why is everything always so confusing? Oh god, there are golems now. The, the reaper is still there. I'm just gonna keep on moving to the right. Never mind, the crab is still there. I, I'm gonna keep on moving. Keep on moving. Gotta find the edge of the map. You can find the edge of the map in more than one way. But you know, just keep on going in a singular direction. You're losing lots of health here. Losing lots of health here. There is zigzagging. There is zigzagging the best that I can. I need to avoid it. I need to avoid taking damage. These guys do a lot of, a lot of, they hurt real bad. They hurt real, real bad. Uh, crab, how are you not dead? Crab, how are you not dead? How are you still alive, honestly? Like, tell me. Yeah, yeah I, I thought you'd be dead by now. Like, I hurt you so much. You're so big. <laughs> uh, ooh? I, 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 did I just unironically just say ooh? I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm also, I'm not sorry. Crab, die. Die, crab. I'm taking so much health. No. No. I will not die. I must achieve the secret. We have like 30 seconds to go. What is the secret? Why is the Reaper stopping me? How do I get to the edge of the map? I don't understand. I don't understand. How do I get to the edge of the map? I keep traveling in a singular direction, but there doesn't appear to be any solution. I don't know. I don't know. We're about to run out of time. No. 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 Ah. <laughs> How do I get to the edge of the map? I feel like I traveled for so long. I got the ultimate build. I got everything I needed to do this and I could not get to the edge of the map because the Reaper, the Reaper spawned and stopped me from going down. What do I do for the love of all that is God and holy? Leave a comment down below. How do I achieve this? <laughs> I feel like I moved for so long trying to get to the edge of the map. There was nothing that happened. How do I do it? I don't know. Ah, uh, well, did I'm going to have to revisit this idea in the future because like I said earlier, this was like my fifth time recording this. I have other things to do in life. I have, I have things to achieve and I cannot be bothered to try to record this for a sixth time. I want to do something else. I'm sorry, but also I'm not sorry. Let me know. How do I achieve this? Do I just need to travel even further off to the side of the map? Honestly, I am uncertain. Well, but one thing I can tell you that I still don't know how to do any of these outros. But there's one thing I will and can and always shall guarantee you is that we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye bye. Ah.